welcome to my studio subscribe and press the bell icon for more such videos hello everyone welcome back to my studio we're back with another video so in this video we'll learn how to integrate phrasal pay with the Redflutter app so before we start the video i just want to thank all of you for all your support and because we have just crossed the 500 subscriber mark it means a lot to us if you have any questions, suggestion, feedback or anything that you want to share with us, you can just write it down in the comment box or you can just mail it to us. We would be happy to help. Now to start off the video, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to go and import the Flutter Razor Pay plugin. So let's just search for Flutter Razor Pay and let's just go here. Okay. Let's just search for the dependency. This is the dependency. Let's just go to pub dev and get the dependency. And let's paste it in the pub spec YAML file. So this is the empty project that I've just created. Let's just paste it here and do pub packages get. Now so the second thing that we need to do is we need to go and create an account on Razorpay. So let's just search for Razorpay and let's just sign up here. So I'll just uh, see you after the sign up process. As you can see, I have signed in. I have just created a new account. This is the first thing that you'll see. Right now, I won't activate my account. I just click on try out the dashboard. And here we can generate test keys to test out the project. So let's just generate one key. And this is the key. So let's just copy the key ID which we need. Okay, we don't need that one. Let's just copy this thing and keep it safe somewhere. So let's just paste it here. Now let's start with the code part. So let's start by creating that class first where we'll have a text field where we'll just enter the amount and the button which will basically call the function to invoke the razor pay integration thing so that we can charge the user. So let's just call it payment, payment only. Let's just import material here and let's just create a simple class payment. And let's just do this. So we have the class ready. Now here let's basically uh, create the instance of Razorpay first. So we just let's call it Razorpay. Let's just create an instance of Razorpay and this is done. Now we we have to create three functions or we have to basically write three callback methods for the Razorpay. So one is if the payment is successful and another one is if the payment is not successful if there is some error. And then a third one is the case of an external wallet like Paytm or something is used. So let's just do that. So Razorpay.on and here we will need to do Razorpay event external wallet let's call it external wallet let's just write the other two also so the second one is payment success let's call it and the third one is payment error so let's just call it pay error Let's just initialize all the three methods here. So the first one we'll do is pay success. And here there will be the response. And let's see, we'll just print it down for now. Okay, let's try it the type for pay success. And there it is payment success response. And let's just print the payment ID here. Now let's do it for the payment error one. Let's do this one. Payment failure response. And here we can basically write the message. And we can also write the code. And the third one is in case of an external wallet so let's just write for that one also okay let's do it here external wallet and 
wallet name that will be good enough and so string only so we have registered all the three callbacks now let's create a function which will basically invoke the in a recipe method to get the money or the payment from the user so let's just call it get payment and here so here's the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a map which of options so here we need to write a lot out of stuff so if you go to the recipe website you'll find a list of options that you need to specify like the key id the amount the email or the if external what it is needs to be used and all that stuff so let's start with the key and we have the key here let's just copy and paste it here now the second thing is we'll write the amount and let's write make it or better if you use text field controller and in the rebuild method let's just create a scaffold which is a column and let's have two things here so that the first one will be a text field and let's give the controller here What's the name of the controller? It's controller only. And the keyboard type. Let's give it text input type dot number. So that is there and let's create a race button. This will just call this function and here what we can do is we can basically use this controller text dot trim and let's just pass it let's just multiply it with 100 because the amount that will be entering is basically in pesa so we need to convert that pesa to rupee so that is there and now let's write the third one okay the third one is name let's just give it something let's say moi we can also give it an order id let's give it uh, we can actually give the amount only as the order ID for now plus more and then we can also write the timeout the prefill we can give some prefill values so let's do that even this is the map here we can give the contact number which will give us and we can also give it an email id and this is done so after this we have written as we have defined all the options now here let's just write a try catch where we'll basically here we'll just call open and we'll pass in the options and this is done now we'll be able to run the app so let me just connect my mobile 
with the laptop and let's just run it so there's an error here which says that the minimum SDK version that we need to use is 19 and the one that we currently have is 16 so let's just go to the android native code we'll go to the project level gradle file and here let's just change the minimum SDK version from 16 to 19 and then this should work as you can see the app is up and running so let's just write some value here let's just say thousand rupees and let's just click on the pay button and okay uh, there was an error so the, the ID provided does not exist okay okay let's just go here and let's just remove this order ID let's do it again let's just click on pay again and yeah this is working now as you can see there are multiple options I'll just click on the card option and I'll just write some random number because it's a test account and it won't be a problem so let's just write something and let's just give it a value one two three and let's just pay and here we'll just click on pay skip and because it's a test account it's just asking ki ha this is the demo account so we'll just click on success and as you can see this was successful and we were able to okay let's see let's just check if the payments id was printed and as you can see the payment ID has been printed now let's try it for the error method also and let's do the same thing again let's just go to card and let's just give it a random number let's just click on failure and this time we got another error okay this device details is not a function is it um, let me just check once okay huh here as you can see we are getting the payment field here so I just want to check the, if it's this one only successfully paid uh, let's just say failed now let's try the third one which is the external wallet one so let's try that also okay let's just cancel this one now let's try the external wallet one so let's just write a thousand here let's just click on pay and here we can click on wallet and we can select it from any other wallet so let's just click on movie quick click on pay contact number needs to be Indian uh, for now let's try with card only or let's try with UPI and let's just click on Paytm pay and as you can see it says successfully paid because it's a demo account so no matter which app you're using or anything it will just return that the app was able to pay so that's all for this video if you did like this video please subscribe to our channel our engagement rate is pretty high but the number of subscribers that we get is close to the 10 percent of that rate so please do subscribe to our channel because it really motivates us to bring more and more content for you thank you and have a nice day